Some women experience conditions like not having menstrual cycle, worsening acne, and increased facial or body hair, which are symptoms of polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS. If left untreated, it can lead to conditions like diabetes and even an increased risk of endometrial cancer. In a study published in July 2023 on nutrients, it was found that taking myo-inositol along with this showed significant effectiveness in managing PCOS. Hello, Dr. Sean here. In the ovaries, there are pockets called follicles that surrounded the eggs. When there are too many of these, we call it polycystic ovary syndrome. In this situation, ovulation doesn't occur smoothly. As a result, menstruation may become irregular, occurring infrequently or even stopping altogether for a few months. For ovulation to happen properly, estrogen should decrease a bit and progesterone should increase, maintaining a balanced hormonal environment. When this balance is disrupted, continuous estrogen stimulation in the uterine lining can lead to abnormal bleeding or an increased risk of endometrial cancer. Additionally, when androgen, one of the sex hormones, become excessive, symptoms such as a hirsutism, the excess hair growth, acne, and female pattern hair loss can worsen. In the case of PCOS, it often comes with insulin resistance, meaning that efficiency of using glucose inside the cell is reduced. Consequently, the risk of developing diabetes increased significantly, ranging from about 3 to 7 times higher. For this reason, when prescribing treatment for PCOS, doctors often prescribe metformin, a medication known for treating diabetes. In fact, when women with the PCOS, especially those who are overweight, manage to lose weight, the chance of ovulation increase and there is a higher likelihood of regular menstrual cycle being restored. In essence, stress, consumption of oily and sugary food, Reduced physical activity and inadequate sleep are significant contributing factors. As you can see here, doctors often use specific treatment based on individual symptoms. So, I will now share some supplements that may help improve these symptoms along with the guidance on how to combine them for maximum effect. Let's go! Firstly, we have myo-inositol. It serves as a second messenger for insulin and follicle-stimulating hormones, acting as a component of IP3. Inositol can aid in improving various causes of PCOS, including promoting normal ovulation, enhancing egg quality, and mitigating androgen effect. The recommended daily dosage, based on several studies, is typically 2 to 4 grams. If you are preparing for pregnancy, starting to take it three months before conception. The second supplement is alpha-lipoic acid. Recently, using both myo-inositol and alpha-lipoic acid has shown synergy in managing PCOS, leading to improvement in menstrual regularity. Alpha-lipoic acid is potent antioxidant that activates an enzyme called AMPK. This activation increased insulin sensitivity helping lower blood glucose levels. Additionally, it can prevent fat accumulation too. Managing blood sugar and obesity is crucial in PCOS management, and alpha-lipoic acids plays a beneficial role in this regard. The recommended dosage is 600 mg for alpha-lipoic acid and 2 g for inositol, which is somewhat on higher side. Taking this supplement on empty stomach is considered optimal. The third supplement is natural progesterone cream. When ovulation doesn't occur, progesterone secretion decreases. There is an increase in androgen production from the adrenal cortex, impacting conditions like acne, excessive hair growth, and hair loss. Unlike men, when women supplement with pro progesterone, Androgen levels tend to decrease, so using cream like natural progesterone or products to ingest such as a Vitex berry can be beneficial in this situation. The lastly, the fourth supplement is a DIM or I3C. 
This I3C indole 3 carbonyl converts to DIM when encountered with the stomach acid. And it's commonly found in cruciferous vegetables like uh, broccoli and cabbage. Rather than directly increasing or decreasing hormones, this compound plays a role in reducing harmful estrogen metabolites and increasing beneficial ones in our body's estrogen metabolism. Think of it as uh, helping alleviate symptoms of estrogen excess, such as in conditions like endometrial cancer. So I have shared about supplements and now I'll help you on how to formulate these supplements. Firstly, let's put 2 grams of inositol and it would be nice if it has a folic acid in it. Next, add alpha lipoic acid. From this point, depending on your symptoms such as ovulation problem or androgen excess, you can choose between Vitex Berry or Progesterone Cream. If you have symptoms of estrogen excess or severe PMS, consider adding DIM or I3C. In conclusion, I want to emphasize that supplements are supportive, but the fundamental solution lies in correcting lifestyle habits. Remember, unraveling the complexity of hormonal metabolism ultimately requires lifestyle adjustments. However, if you experience persistent irregular periods, severe acne, hair loss, or immediate need for medication, please talk to your doctor. And Eastern medicine also proves highly effective for conditions like PCOS and infertility. Thank you for watching today's video and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Remember, health is wealth, so invest in yourself. This is Dr. Sean, making health easy for you. Stay healthy, stay happy. Bye!